Well, Linus uh, announced today that you're stepping up into the uh, Indy Lights presented by Cooper Tires Championship for the 2021 season. Please tell us how, how critical this move is in, in your career. I mean, firstly, I'm just super happy to be able to to have this announced and have it official because obviously it's been it's been a lot of hard work behind the scenes and uh, during the the off well the winter break and as the usually is and and for most drivers during the winter. So, firstly, super happy to have it announced and then I'm so excited to get this going. Um, I mean, a championship for like in the lights and with the previous names racing in it and winning in it. You know, uh, the target is to be one of those as well. You're now entering the uh, the IndyCar arena, if you like, in the in the top tier of the Road to Indy series. Uh, and you're, you're doing this move on, on the back of a pretty dominant campaign, it has to be said, in the Formula Regional America series last year, winning 15 out of 17 races there. Um, now, please take us through how, how you've been working during the winter to actually formalize this program that, that you're now announcing. Yeah, like I said before, obviously, it's been a lot of hard work, but I, I've been fortunate enough when we won the championship, uh, we also won the, the Honda or the HBD scholarship uh, that is helping me progress to, towards in lights and giving me a good good foundation. And then obviously um, a lot of hard work has been, been focused on um, finding the right team because obviously we want to be in to fight for a championship. And then uh, we found a, a team that I'm very confident and comfortable with. So um, I believe that we're going to do great things together. And obviously focus on the on the sponsorship side as well and trying to, to make everything work. Confident in the team, you say. Well, I guess that is because you're actually making this step with the same team that you raced for last year, uh, the Global Racing Group operation. But, but now they are teaming up with HMD Motorsports for, for this move. And that's very interesting because, in fact, those were your, those were your main rivals last year with David Malukas, of course, in Formula Regional Americas. You will now be racing side by side with Benjamin Peterson, also part of the team currently, and uh, a fourth car ex expected to be announced shortly as well. So um, how important is it to, to be making this move with a group of people that you know, uh, albeit in this new constellation with HMD? I think obviously there are some people that I'm I'm gonna know, uh, but there's gonna be a few new faces as, as well from from the HMD guys, and I think it's great to see the the combination of the two. Uh, where obviously I'm I'm very comfortable and have the experience with with global, uh, but then obviously with the in the lights experience guys from from HMD, I think uh, it's gonna be a good dynamic, and I'm really looking forward to it. And the vibe that I'm getting from the team so far is is just positive. So I think we're all stoked and. All super excited and ready to uh, to get going, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll we'll be able to fight for a championship. That's going to be the target for us. And you've already conducted some some testing with the team over the winter in the Indy Lights car. Uh, what what can you make? What, what did you make from that test? And what was the car like to drive? I mean, the the first initial reaction was just pure joy. To be honest, I mean, it's such an incredible car and. Um, very different to, to what I raced last year in the regional car because um, this car it's got a lot more power a lot more downforce it's actually lighter than uh, than the previous car so um, a lot of new things um, and it took a, some laps to to get adapted to but at the end of the day I mean I think we're we ended up in a pretty pretty comfortable positions and well position so uh, I think just going forward we're going to work on setups and obviously trying to make me as comfortable as I can. But I think uh, it was just an awesome car to drive. And obviously it's really quick. Yeah. And now you're, you're moving on to the, the IndyCar arena with all 10 rounds of, of the Indy Light series this year, forming part of the IndyCar support schedule. So the season will, will kick off in early April as things stand currently uh, at Bahaba Motorsports Park, with, which is actually one of, I think, only two circuits that you have previous knowledge of. Uh, of course, last year, you had no previous knowledge, knowledge of any of the tracks, but things went pretty well anyway. But what, what do you make of the calendar? Because it also includes your first ever oval race. Yeah, I'm super excited with the calendar. I mean, it looks it looks awesome. And especially when, you know, the 10 rounds were supporting IndyCar and every one of them. So I think that's going to be cool. Um, unfortunately, maybe not with the same amount of fans as usually but either way i think it's just going to be cool to race race with the big boys and in, in the big arena um but it's an interesting calendar as well because it brings up every kind of track that you can race at which is 
normal racetracks and then street courses and the ovals and the ovals like you said it's going to be a first for me so i'm very excited about that and um it's going to be interesting as well um because i've never even driven a lap around it so i think it's going to take maybe some time to get used to it and then i'm really excited for the races as well because just looking at them how they've been in the past they look to be a bit different to, <laughs> to what you normally see around some other some other racetracks there is also a very significant prize package in Indy Lights, uh, being the top rung of the road to Indy career ladder, of course, uh, which includes for the champion uh, three guaranteed starts in the 2022 Indy Car Series, including the Blue Ribbon Indy 500. Just how intriguing is that as a driver to, to know that you are potentially only a year away from the really, really big stage? I mean, it's it's awesome, and it's one of the best things I think about the um, the racing or the American racing series, or I gotta say, IndyCar that they put this this prize for for the young guns uh, coming up, like like myself, uh, to be able to even have the opportunity to to fight for a prize like that is awesome, and I think that's why you see the championship being well provided so many good drivers in IndyCar as well. So. Um, obviously, that's going to be the target to be able to fight for one of those spots and eventually the, the top spot of it. Um, but it also makes it very interesting because obviously all the other young guns are aiming for it as well. Um, but it's really cool to see the initiative and it's a great price. And I, even for the top three guys now with the new uh, added price um, for um, for the test, uh, for an IndyCar test is good as well. So we'll see. It's going to be interesting. It's maybe not what you think of when you're going racing because all you want to do is win but it's good to know that um, you have that possibility at the end of if you do well so the season kicks off like we said early april uh, some testing coming up before then uh, best of luck for the season ahead liners and uh, i'm sure we'll be talking again soon i hope so thank you very much